It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to this celebration of REC's arrival in Singapore. When coming to this uh, construction site this morning, I hope you all experienced the promising start of a project that will realize REC's ambition to build the largest integrated TV manufacturing facility in the world. Today, we will formally celebrate the startup of this project. As you all have noticed, significant progress has been already made, very much in line with the spirit of the TV industry, and thanks to the strong support of the Singaporean government and our partners. When we planned this event, we thought it should be a groundbreaking. Well, before we got so far, the ground was all already beyond breaking. Then we thought we should uh, make this a cornerstone cell ceremony. But after many thousand pipes, 350 kilometers to be precise, have been punched into the ground, we believe we have sufficient cornerstones all, all out there already. That's why we decided to make this event a celebration of REC's arrival and presence in Singapore. And since this project is moving so fast, we had to do it now before these buildings are up and running. As the world eventually will run out of carbon-based fuel, as energy security is becoming a critical issue and global warming could threaten life on this planet, the one and obvious solution is to build a strong and sustainable renewable energy industry. The photovoltaic technology has many years of history, but the PV industry is fairly young. Still, over the last five, six years, the annual growth of this industry has averaged 40 to 50 percent, and thereby solar energy has emerged as a realistic alternative to more conventional energy carriers. As a world leading player in this exciting industry, REC is targeting a growth rate which is in line with the industry growth. The manufacturing complex that we are now building here at TUAS will significantly contribute to the realization of this ambition. REC's $3 billion Singapore dollar investment at this site is the most significant expansion project REC has undertaken so far. And it is a big commitment for such a young and relatively small company. The process of identifying the ideal location for this project was initiated back in the spring of 2007. Some 200 locations around the world was mapped out and key selection criteria were site infrastructure and logistics, competences and educational programs, R&D capabilities and commitments, operational conditions, and obviously governmental support and track record. Singapore was selected the winner, and that led to the decision in June of this year to invest. REC is not the only company to consider Singapore as a preferred location for its investment. I'm glad to see Singapore again in 2008, rated number one as a preferred country in the world for establishment of new businesses. Congratulations to you all. We admire your strong and coordinated effort. Coming here, we are walking in the footsteps of past successful development of global leading business clusters, such as electronics and microchips, life science and biomedical, as well as refinery and petrochemicals. We are therefore confident that Singapore's past experience and proven track record, combined with a commitment to renewable energy and expressed as expressed by Prime Minister Lee, will ensure an equally successful future for our industry in your country. Minister Lim, since our first contact with your country, we have experienced a friendly, professional, dedicated and coordinated commitment from everyone. All people we have met certainly wanted us to feel at home here, and we very much do. This is a result of how our prime contact in Singapore 
has built this relationship. And I would therefore emphasize the important role that the Economic Development Board of Singapore has played. EDB, which until this summer was headed by Mr. Paul, has impressed us with its team of top professionals, its dedication and strong focus. EDB, together with all other governmental bodies involved in this project, has been instrumental in facilitating RSC as a newcomer here and in the establishment of our business in your country. I therefore would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved for your support so far. The integrated manufacturing complex, which is now taking shape here at TUAS, is planned as a phase one of hopefully a full build-out of this large site. It contains four separate building blocks. 740 megawatt of wafer production, 550 megawatt of solar cell production, 590 megawatt of solar module production, and a full utility service unit. This will occupy about 25 hectares of the 97 hectares that has been made available to us. Start of production is scheduled for first quarter 2010, and we will employ about 1,300 people on the site, of which the first 100 pioneers are already on board. For construction management, REC has engaged a team of three experienced contractors, CH2M Hill, MB Sander, and Floor, the latter working in close cooperation with Bobby Landis as construction manager. At peak, there will be about 4,500 construction engineers and workers on the site. Unfortunately, while all this positive work is going on here, recent developments in the global financial market causes some uncertainty and concerns in all industrial sectors around the world. The possible impact of the financial turmoil on our industry is still not clear. However, REC has worked consistently for many years to build robustness into our business model by securing long-term fixed contracts with major solid solar companies around the world. Possible negative impacts of the financial turmoil will, however, still be a focus that needs our attention these days. We hope that with continuing support from the Singapore government, it should be possible not only to realize phase one successfully, but hopefully also to start planning towards investment decisions on the next phases in a not too distant future. I, my colleagues in Norway, and all of our colleagues here in Singapore look forward to working with all of you here to ensure a successful execution of our project. We trust that all of our partners uh, share our goals and are committed to strongly contribute to achieve them. Then we can all look forward some 12 to 18 months from now and the celebration of a fantastic opening of our uh, great plant together. Let me finish by uh, a well-recognized quote. I'd uh, put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a source of power. I hope we don't have to wait until oil and coal run out before we tackle that. Well, these uh, perspectives of Thomas Edison back in the early 1900s uh, clearly tell us that he had more foresight than most people have had on this planet. Now, 100 years later, I hope we are in a position to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Thomas.